Hi. I am so grateful and excited to be invited to present alongside the other people today. For me, I don't know about for you, but for me it's been both fascinating and heart-touching, and that's so cool. I, um, I participated in the Float On Writers Program in the fall, since the fall of um, 2014, and after each float, I wrote a creative nonfiction piece, and this is the latest one. It's called The Consequences of Floating. One. The first little while is always about coming back into my body, becoming unnumb. Breath and heartbeat, water lapping against skin, the muffled roar of the inside of my head. Eventually, my consciousness expands beyond close boundaries to include the rumble of a truck passing on the street a fellow floater bumping in their tank. Then the unwork begins. Time passes, barely acknowledged. When I step out, my body fits me better. Or perhaps I fit better into my body. Taut skin and soothed muscles with as much coordination as a new colt pleasantly fuzzed without the hangover headache, my mind is a lazily churning eddy in a clear, warm stream. Two. After several risings and sinkings of consciousness, abrupt awareness that my knees and shoulders are still bound up do they ever fully relax? Now I catch myself tensing my left knee when it has nothing to do while I'm driving or sitting in bed, lounging with friends on a barside patio. And all day my shoulders knit themselves into knots, frozen in a half shrug. It takes conscious effort to reseat them and when I check back half an hour later, they've migrated back upwards again. Three. Let go. It's the first thing I center on when I'm in the tank and my new mantra outside it. I breathe it into my muscles, whisper it silently when I'm afraid someone will feel angry or think less of me if I tell them my truth or when I feel the internal fires of jealousy, anger, shame. Instead of trying to bind, dismiss, or bury what disturbs me, I want to let go of the barriers separating me from my experience, me from myself. I want to let it come. I want to remember to forget to put up the walls. Four, I am a tightly clenched fist. So tightly clenched and for so long, it's painful to open. Not a release, a prying apart, rusted metal squealing. I want this, and yet I am terrified. If I let go, what will keep me from flying apart? My atoms, forgetting their purpose, will rush out with eager curiosity to explore the corners of the universe. If I let go, I cease to be what I am. Five. When all the emotions pile on top of me and I can't breathe, where I'm lying in my bed, my body rigid with worries. I imagine 
I'm in a float tank. Immediate, the sense of relief. An external space internalized, I carry with me a source of calm. Six. Lying in the warm dark, merged with water, I imagine leather and metal braces covering my body. I've worn them since childhood. I made them myself, thinking they'd keep me safe and stable. Instead, they limit my movement and chafe me raw. One by one, I unbuckle them and let them float away, unbound. And it occurs to me now that I am unbounded, too, without boundaries, limitless. I do not know what the consequences will be. I recognize only the possibility of becoming. Thanks for listening.